So I never met my father. Uh, my mom was four months pregnant uh, at the time of the execution. Um, so it was really important for me to join the revolution. In fact, I, I insisted, insisted on going to Sudan, despite people telling me not to go because it was unsafe. But yeah. Subscribe, comment, and hit the thumbs. The Grand Symphony hitting me with an epiphany Orchestrating the slick way that I move swiftly Analyzing what's on my scope and the tip of my periphery The president is a frog, slimy and slippery The abhorrent man who served a warrant to continue an expedition into Johannesburg This man deserves extradition, he evaded the AU just elated They're corrupted and easily persuaded Crime ain't to be debated, coward got his head inflated The NCP got traded at the ICC who made it in the ICU Your life is through on his ECG he be green, deceased on the RV And on the ventilator, C4 is quick to end the traitor He saw the numeral clock, only to wonder when his tumor will pop Facing cardiac arrests and numerous stops Flatline and humor you drop You're a cancer spreading to the brain Using corruption to further your aims And murder for gain to bring dysfunction and pain Robbery and poverty, atrocities of authorities Some of the horrors be connoted slaughter Raping mothers and daughters, killing southern brothers on borders, raping the poor, blaming the war, genocide on Janjaweed's just freedom, plans to siege, but who gave them the weapons? I reckon. Thinking this for a second, no second guessing on this ethnic cleansing. They're clear as day in their vicarious ways, nefarious plays, and other various raids where death is bearing the share in the shade. We're sharing the rage, they put the leader in the Congress, paint a pretty picture to the wrong press, or a flick say since it check the death, they under stress. Sweating on the sunken neck, their deception is covered and covered and blind to their public breath. Uh huh. So, that was just detailing all the atrocities that the previous regime permitted, but the same applies to this regime. So, we want freedom, change, justice. And now I'm about to tell you the story about my father. They took over the reign in 89 From a democracy before my time Integrity on the mind Elections rendered void a boy Injecting the incumbent choice Another tool to recover the set Discourage a threat but senses of death The anger never left the officers in question were surrounded and rounded up a betrayal and informant leaks in jail before they speak this deep. A trial by peers was not in the equation. Lives were taken. April 24th, 1990. The month of Ramadan comes to understand the gun was burst by guards. They murdered us. My father, your uncle, his brother, my mother's husband. Her heart was grieving. The charge was treason. Hypocritical when you consider on picture the events before they saw the score. The martyrs knew their intent and sense. They foresaw the tyranny having already witnessed extrajudicial killings by these villains in Dillon. The officers were on demand but planned to end the men, the fiends regime before it started chucking up the garbage. It didn't succeed, the country continued to besiege. The key perpetrators were burst in cages of blazing. Ibrahim, Shams and Deans are buried in the air, burnt to a crisp, ripped up and turned into little bits. Perished in the fiery demise, the planes combusted as just a sign and when he died, Bashir would decide to marry his wife. Carrying on with his life like it's life, there's no honor among these thieves. Would you grieve when you're leading the league and steals from the starving who needs to feed for a meal that's real? To rob he's in the dirt like his namesake, disgraced and waste, you can never change fate. The state of your decay, the reign of pain is over, bringing us closer to closure, exposure. Revolution inducing the movement for the country's improvement, falling the nuisance. We prove it, we do this music to the cruel, ruthless rulers who will lose their throne and tone they don't. Remorse, we purge the torch, of course. The scorch to the morgues we fought. We, we talk, we fought, these orcs we fought. Uh huh. So, now you've heard my story, everyone. On the count of one, two, three, say, Madania. Madania. Basically, it means um, civilian government. Hurriya Salam Adala, Madaniya Khiyar Shah. Hurriya Salam Adala, Madaniya Khiyar Shah. One love. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. The screen, as you describe it, social media, has been the force behind change in Sudan. That's true. That's However, how, no, 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 let me ask the question. However, how does the youth or the people differentiate the truth from... Read. Read. Read what? Read. Read what? Go through, go through the history of things. But people do not read nowadays what they're doing. Yeah, they're relying on social that's media a, that's a problem. to get... That's social how they're educated social nowadays. Social media is, it's got two sides into it. There's a good side, which is quick, is fast, is very rapid. editable. You're rapid. Uh -huh. You know, you can spread it as quickly. That's the beauty of it. But also, but also social media is a, a fertile ground for... for Fake um, news. Fake news and all. Anyone can put anything to, into a video and, di and, and distribute it. And because now there's people are all hyped about Sudan, we're all looking into our screens. We all want to see what's happening in Sudan via the screen. What I'd like the Sudanese young people to do, really read into the history of things, look into the research, understand the roots and the causes of things, and then make your own judgment. Don't rely on a video, because the same way Alain Ghaz was brain, brainwashing people, I think anyone else could come, even if, the, if it's opposing come, even, even if there's the opposing party to Alain Ghaz, even if those people who we really wish now for them to come in power, they can also brainwash you if, you don't really, if you're not careful, if you cannot make a, a, a middle ground judgment. I hope, I hope I made myself clear. Do you know something? One thing I like about you when we speak on camera yeah. is that you speak a lot of deep oh. sense. And I think what is great about what you've said, I'm being devil's advocate, you've given some, enough information to make people think for themselves yeah. and to educate and to allow them to go out there to seek further information really, but really, you've also yeah. described the theory it could be a conspiracy theory but it's going to be put out there for further debate yeah i i hope i I'm, i was very i hope i was neutral about my opinion subscribe comment and hit the thumbs Don't forget that if you have an issue that you would like Street Cam Documentary to raise awareness about, please contact the channel at streetcamdocumentary at gmail.com.